Yeah, Logan, I can tell you that the family of Angel Gaspar Gallegos is absolutely heartbroken by this latest act of violence. Ever since Angel's death in November, they have made it their mission to raise awareness for gun advocacy and gun safety. Now, this comes at a time when people are asking answers after the latest act of violence. They're all hoping to prevent this from happening to another family. In the garage of the home where Angel Gaspar Gallegos was struck by a stray bullet on Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're going to put one white one on top for Angel. His aunt works to honor his legacy, making binders and support papers for other struggling loss. When you pull that trigger, the person, the, the responsible party, you're not only killing that person that is no longer going to be with us, you're devastating the whole family, you're changing our way of being. While investigators still don't know who pulled the fatal trigger on that November night, they're turning their pain into purpose with plans to end gun violence. A vigil held this week honored the latest victim, 14-year-old Eric Balanzar, shot and killed Tuesday near Mount Hope. Angel's aunt reacting to the moment she heard another child's life was cut short. And it's devastating that someone would carelessly, you know, do a drive-by or hit anyone. Like for us, a stray bullet, but an innocent child, I mean, that has a, love, a life to live. And I'm heartbroken for the family. Um, if you guys, the community can donate, um, there's a GoFundMe to help the parents with funeral arrangements that no parent should be having to do. It's for this reason Angel's family is now joining forces with grassroots organizations wanting to prevent gun violence by implementing early prevention efforts and giving vital resources to those who do suffer loss. Moving forward and how to get help and how to ask for help and where to ask for help. So Mothers with a Message has helped us tremendously and right now they're with um, Eric Valanzar's family. From teaching parents about how to talk to their children about gangs and violence to calling on the community Community to be part of the solution. It's speak up. I mean, if you hear something, say something. I mean, uh, you know, if, if you hear shotguns in your community, call it in. That's that's the only way we can conquer and as a community group, work together to help prevent this from happening to another family. And such an important message there. Now, as for Eric Balanzar's GoFundMe, we've listed that for you on this story on our website. When it comes to the investigation into the death of Angel, they have still not been able to provide us any kind of update. Homicide detectives still working to figure out who pulled that trigger. If you have any information, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. They will be holding a walk for Angel on his birthday, what would have been his 13th birthday in that community in Skyline. We've also listed that information for you. If you want to get involved with moms with a message and all of the work being done right now to make the community safer. We're reporting live in Murphy Canyon, Hunter Sowards, KUSI News. Hunter, thank you.